here on 207 is keep you abreast of some of the most interesting concerts that are coming up in Maine over the next few weeks. And when we're doing that, we always turn to Angel Ponte, who writes about music for the Portland Press Herald. She joins us from time to time. Thank you for coming always in. Always a pleasure. You know, I just can't wait to the dog days of summer. I, as we're on the precipice of March, the most depressing month. Yes. Most, I, I'm kind of over it. Yeah. But lots of shows. You don't agree with the poet? April is not the cruelest oh, month. Oh, T.S. Eliot. is the cruelest Mar month You know, April's Angel. actually, April's worse. So I'll be really bad <laughs> oh, So you'll April. be really bummed out when you see us <laughs> in three but weeks. music is the cure-all. Music and music why I'm does here. make us feel better. So let's yes. talk about some of the shows that are coming up. We'll begin with Della May, who's happening Friday at Port City Music Hall. What's yeah. the word on Della May? So they are uh, an all-female, oh, yeah. which is perfect because as we're about to launch into Women's History Month, the month of March, um, all-female string band uh, out of Nashville. And their new record is called Headlight, and they're all phenomenal musicians, and there's great harmonies, and there's no not a good reason to not see this show. That sentence made no sense. Uh, but I'm going to add a bonus. That was a double negative. I was grammatically need, all over the map. I, I knew what you But meant. there's a huge bonus. <laughs> the opener is Mark Arelli, who's a national treasure on the, yes. on the songwriting front, a uh, Boston guy. He's played in Maine many, many times. And uh, he, he has a new record coming out. He has a new single called Blindsided that was just released. That's great. And he's... Like, even if it was just his show, go see him. But Mark the fact Rowe's that he's been, with... been on 207 Della before. Yeah, uh, really talented musician and super nice guy. So that's a completely solid show on Friday night. Good show. All right. On Thursday, March 5th at Cadenza in Freeport, yes. a band that I had not heard of called Squirrel Flower. Brand new to me. But I was poking around the Cadenza website, mm -hmm. and I said, Squirrel Flower. I like that. So let me dig in a little bit. Right. It's a mon moniker of a young woman uh, in the Boston area. She's in her early 20s named Ella O'Connor. And it's um, a real kind of ethereal, slightly electronic, uh, slow synthy thing. In other words, it's right in my right up my wheelhouse. And she's yeah. got lovely, uh, lovely vocals, and the record is called "I Was Born Swimming." And she's really very interesting. She's not just your typical singer songwriter with acoustic guitar, even though I love the typical aforementioned singer songwriter. Mm -hmm. uh, she's got a, a real. Um, kind of abstraction to her, and uh, it's I was very drawn in to the record, uh, and I'm very curious to see what happens with her down the road. She, uh, she was in Rolling Stone. She's already gotten a little bit of national press. Uh, and again, Squirrel Flower, uh, the moniker of Ella O'Connor. I think that's going to be a really interesting show. That's Thursday the Thursday, 5th. Thursday, March 5th. Downtown Freeport. On to show number three. This is a band I've heard of because they've been to Maine before, but I've never seen them. Gina and the Red Eye Flight Crew, Saturday, March 7th yes. at Portland House well, of Music. They've not only been to Maine, my friend Rob. Yes. They are. They live here. Well, they are. Explain why they I mean, Gina's been here. originally from Boston, but <laughs> they, they actually that. live here. <laughs> and uh, so my my friend and the, the co-owner of Coffee by Design, Mary Ellen Lindemann, is turning sixty, and I'm not outing her age. This is her party. She's okay. throwing this party okay. to celebrate her sixtieth birthday, and it's a fundraiser for the Greater Portland Immigrant uh, Welcome Center. And she has gotten Gina and the Red Eye Flight Crew. She loves them. I love them. They're a good call. This is going to be a total party. And uh, the, she, Gina and her band, her every musician in her band is just this crackerjack, like A-list musician. Mm -hmm. And she has these phenomenal powerhouse vocals. So that's going to be super fun, great cause, and uh, happy birthday, Matt, Mary Allen, in advance. That's going to be fun. That's a. That's yeah, the way, I, I will definitely be there. That's the way you celebrate your I birthday. I am hosting the Mam Rock, the Girls Rock event at Port City Music Hall earlier in the evening, and then I'm hot stepping it down to Portland House of Music for that. Here's a band that is really fun. They're different. They're talented. Postmodern jukebox. Yes. Saturday, March 14th at the State Theater yes. in Portland. Now, you know, I didn't used to be into them, and now I've seen the light. I don't know why. Now I'm like, why didn't I love them? This is completely yeah, I think up my really alley. Entertaining. Uh, so I think I'm going to go. I think I might go see Sarah Halley Richardson earlier that evening at the Jewish uh, the Jewish Center on Congress Street, and then I'm going to race down and catch part of this show. Uh, so uh, it's it's Scott Bradley. It's he put this thing together. He's an arranger and and pianist, and essentially they do kind of old timey uh, big bandish versions of pop songs. Mm -hmm. And uh, like Seven Nation Army and, and alternative rock songs. Very creative. So this, very creative, this yeah. This is the kind of thing that actually will, will appeal to a wide range of music lovers. Yes. Because they put a contemporary spin on classic songs. Yes, and he always have a kind of revolving cast of musicians. There's always a female vocalist. They do careless whisper. Oops, I did it again. And they do it with showmanship, too, which yes. is also fun. Yes. Uh, so I think that's going to be really uh, great. All right, real quickly, the lightning round. All right, we'll here we go. Just go through these real fast. Bait For bag with Crunch Coat and Cadaveret, Port City Music Hall, Friday, March 6th, Rock Out, Oshima Brothers. Saturday, March 7th at One Longfellow Square. A folk duo with the Western Den, Portland House of Music on March 12th, and Mallet Brothers Band at Johnson Hall in Gardner on March 14th. And that's just a little tiny little snapshot 
snapshot of, of all the live music that's happening in Maine. All any right. given night. Eight shows to consider over the next few weeks. I'll see you out there. Ames Ponty from the Portland Press Herald. Always Thank you. a pleasure. That full list on our website, you'll find it in the 207 section of the website and the mobile app. And we will return right after this.